are more likely and are prone to divorce. They're prone to divorce. They're prone to have, have a child, one or two child outside marriage. They could easily, their regard for marriage is very, very minor. Sister, call your brother. Call your husband to come and listen to this. Call your brother, call your husband. That your nephew. Call them. <laughs> girl ttk my name is kemi jinaja i'm back again with another telling it just the way it is chat series so guys stay tuned this is going to be a very quick one <laughs> i know i say this most of the time but this is going to be a very quick one so guys grab a cup of cold drink it's very very um hot in the uk I right recorded now this video on father's day but i know by the time you see this video it will be way past father's day so be here with me but my sincere greetings and recognition and honor to those responsible dad out there happy daddy's day i like to refer to dad and not fathers because my focus is on responsible men who make an effort to take care of their children so happy daddy's day i'm not referring to sperm donor daddy is not necessarily biological so happy daddy's day to all that is out there may you reap what you sow may god bless you abundantly have a nice day guys god bless you once more time so okay i'm just gonna go straight to the point why is it that most men when they are no longer in a relationship with their women they stop caring for their children not all some men are most men and again i'm gonna i'm going to touch on the subject or the topic of absentee father absent fathers fathers who are forever absent in their children's life these have a last damaging effect in children especially when they grow up and i am going to touch on some of these damages always the case this is not always the case most children without fathers while they are growing up ended up most not all ended up dropping out of school most times they ended up dropping out of school ended up being very poor ended up taking drugs ended up in prison they end up with so many negative effects it's the same for they all children all children who grow up in a home without a father but abroad it is very very prominent and if you look at the traits they most of them have this trait not all of them and it takes a strong woman a very strong woman who is ready to sacrifice a lot to make sure these children do not turn out that way but most times they ended up that way in this video i would like to address our men our men our youth our boys that are growing up to become a full-grown men that are growing up to become fathers to know the importance especially if you're from such home the importance of father the importance of taking responsibilities it is okay and it is good all well and good if sometimes relationship does not work out it's not by force you don't have to die there you have to move on it's a free word live and let live but what, what about those children what about those children you don't move on and leave those children behind african men for some reason when they are no longer in good relationship with the mom the children goes with it most times when the men move on they forget the children from their previous marriages sister call your brother call your husband to come and listen to this call your brother call your husband that your nephew call them they need to listen it is really really bad it has a damaging effect long lasting damaging effect on the children you leave behind it takes the grace of god god and it takes the strength of a strong woman not all women are strong. and i am not also referring to men full-grown men who are ready in the habits i'm also referring to divorcee men who have neglected their families men who moved on and neglect the children they left behind who do not want to know and it's really really sad not only are these children 
affected emotionally, physically, psychologically, even moving on, they've been, they, they are affected. They begin to exercise um, bad behavior, characters, immorality. It, affect, it has so many damaging effects. Call them. Forward this video to them. That brother that's neglected his wife. Not even wife, of course, maybe an ex or ex-girlfriend. But she, she's also a baby mama. Ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, you know, that's, that have neglected those children or that child. Let him have a rethink. Let him have a rethink. It has a long last damaging effect. It's not always about money. It's not always about money. Emotions, love, care, it goes a long way. You could tell a difference between a child who comes from a loving, caring home and a child who comes from a broken home. There's a difference, and like a number of them. First, they have behavioral problem, behavioral problems. They are the ones that have these intimidating personalities. Although, yeah, children will be children. Children will exercise some kind of um, naughty behavior. It's more prominent with children that comes from a home without father. They exercise an intimidating persona, an intimidating behavior. They're very hostile towards one another. And they're doing that to conceal their fear, their resentment, their anxiety, their longing for love. That is why they exercise such behavior. That is one of them. According to my research, according to my research, 71% of fatherless children are dropouts. 71% of them, they, they easily lose interest in going to school. They, they, they perform poorly academically. They don't care, they don't want to know. They don't, have, they don't really have a strong, firm mentor. Like I said earlier, it takes the grace of God and a strong woman to knock a child out of it. It's very, very challenging. And I'm saying this, not all fatherless um, um, children. I can tell you that not all fatherless children, but 71% of it, according to my research, are dropouts. They just lose interest in life, in things, generally. Especially abroad, like UK, US, Germany, Dublin, and all that, you know, ab abroad. I mean abroad, those that live in the diaspora. 85%, according to my research, 85% of fatherless children end, end up in prison end as an adult. Prison. They are prone to offend. They are prone to commit an every, most crimes. They are prone to commit any crime. They ended up going to jail. Those without father. Most times. And the reason being is that when you're being brought up by a single parent, when you live abroad, I'm sure most can relate to what I'm talking about. When you live abroad, it's very challenging for one person to bring up, especially boys. Very, very challenging. She's trying to walk. She's walking. And most times they're doing shifts where they have to like walk nights, walk mornings, walk afternoon. At night when the woman is gone, the, 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 the teenage son is out of the door. The teenage son is out of the door. Mingling, joining gangs, committing all kinds of crimes that you can think of. They're, they're more prone to end up in jail. Fatherless children. When I say fatherless, it does not mean the father is dead. Though. I mean, fathers or dads who are not fathers, who are not active, who are not responsible in their children's lives are the ones I am referring to. Females. Just to remind Females you. Females are more exposed to sexual abuse. They are more exposed to sexual abuse. And the reason being is that their longing, their longing, their hunger for male love. You understand? Their longing and hunger for male love made them susceptible to men's exploitation. They're prone. They can easily contact sexually transmitted disease because they lack experience. They could easily be exploited by men. Is their search for this male love, their hunger for it. If you look very well and very deeply, not all, most females from a home without father, most, not all, most females from a home without father are promiscuous. The chances of them becoming so promiscuous is high. 
and it starts from an early stage not all or some i don't i do not want to receive those dm or messages accusing me of saying something that is wrong not all some yes they are prone to be most ch children especially females are easy targets of sexual abuse and this is because of lack of guidance lack of father figure the longing and hunger for male love this video most children african black community i'm referring to the african black community especially in the diaspora and i mean abroad and i mean teenage children or youth especially those from a fatherless home are bound to be teenage parents from an early stage especially girls girls can easily get pregnant at that age not all most of them some teenagers that get pregnant even with their dad present in their life i'm not talking about that but majority most are without fathers most come from a home without fathers they're prone to be to become teenage parents at a very young age fatherless children are more likely to start smoking start drinking alcohol and even abuse drug at a very very early stage both in childhood and adulthood note that the disadvantages are a lot they're a lot so any man guilty of this should please readjust should please make amendment it's never too late swallow that your big ego eh? african men swallow that ego swallow that pride reconcile with your baby mama based on children i'm not saying by force be your baby mama's wife or go into a relationship go back to your ex-wife when i say go back you don't have to be husband and wife sort out how you can raise your children how you can raise your kids it's very very important swallow that ego swallow that pride fatherless children are more likely to suffer from physical abuse emotional abuse, mental abuse, and psychological abuse, as I did mention earlier. Fatherless children are more likely, again, according to research, to suffer from depression. Depression due to unhappiness, anxiety, resentment, anger. They have this temper. Something is missing in their lives. They are more likely to suffer depression. They are more likely to commit suicide mostly and this is a bitter truth but i will say it most women without fathers in their lives are more likely and are prone to divorce they're prone to divorce they're prone to have, have a child one or two child outside marriage they could easily their regard for marriage is very very minute their tolerance for marriage is very very low what a will tolerate in their marriage b will not tolerate it and most times it's because of their experience they're growing up no good marriage to look up to their tolerance for that thing called marriage is very very low tolerance is very very low they're prone to be divorced early they're prone to divorce early they're prone to leave their relationship early the tolerance level is very very low just go look around look at it very very low and that is the honest truth that is the honest truth these are the effects you daddies out there have especially on your female children and even men are prone to walk out on any marriage just at the slight of any problem is divorce the marriage is over they never had a father figure they don't know how mommy and daddy are supposed to behave together mommy raised them alone there's so many things happening psychologically up there this is the reason why there's some homes where if you're divorced you cannot marry their daughter if you're div divorced, you cannot marry their son. There's some homes like that. Those who come from a home where their forefathers, fathers, is one woman, one wife, to death do them apart. Most of them have that rules. You cannot come and marry their daughter or come and marry their son if you have been divorced. And it doesn't mean they're bad people. This, these are the reasons. They, they recognize the reasons. They recognize the negativities that surround these things. It takes the grace of God, and I keep saying it, and the strength of a strong woman. And you know, 
in Yoruba, there's this proverb, one it about bira, turn to my bini, atura inibi. It takes that, like you're willing to improve yourself, you're willing to work on those flaws. For you to forget those things and let go of those things that comes with um, coming or growing up in a fatherless home. So fathers, this message today is for you. If you do not want to grow up lonely, I can tell you something and I hope, please sisters, any sister watching me, sisters, mothers, aunties watching me, and you know of any man, one thing I know that I might be young, I might be old, I might lack experience, I might lack some understanding, but this one I'm, I'm about to say, Odamiloju, Odamiloju, what I am about to say now. If you man or men don't want to end up lonely with regrets, with regrets and shame, because when you're like 80 something years old, 70 something years old, your friend's daughter, your friends, you see your friends, you see what their, their, their children do for them. They take them on holiday. They appreciate them. They celebrate them. And then you're alone. And you have children all over. You know? I want to make it in here. All over. But nobody, not even one, will turn up, will celebrate you, will come for your birthday, will call you. Unless you have a daughter or a child or a son that just very kind that turn out very kind like you will die a lonely man you will die with so much regret you will die with so much bitterness in your old age when you're supposed to be happy when your grandchildren are supposed to come and visit you and be happy we're going to grandpapa granddada grandmama's house grandpapa especially you will be alone lonely and you'll be hiding because friends are not supposed to notice these things it's the honest, honest truth. Lonely man, they live in agony towards their older age. They live with regret. They live with pain. Karma, take that from me. I give you free. And that is honest truth. That will just have mercy on you. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I will end this video by saying what you sow is what you reap. And that applies to parenting as well. It applies to so many things, but most importantly, <laughs> take care of your children. Fathers, brothers, uncles, don't neglect them. Very, very important. They remember what you do. They see what you do. They know who took care of them. Iyaje, to take care of them, they will honor her. Than you that you're a saint that neglected them. Seriously. So guys, kind of somehow turned into a rant <laughs> excuse me but yeah all well and good it, that was just flowing from the heart it has it has to it has to let me love you and leave you if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe click that red button somewhere down there click it you will not regret ever subscribing to this channel click it guys click it so guys have a lovely week nice day god bless you ta ta